So, the question on everybody's lips. Where the fuck have I been? Well, ever since, you know, the incident two years ago, my content has been kind of irregular. Which I'd say is understandable, honestly. Life gets in the way of this kind of thing and I just want to thank everybody for understanding realistically. But, why have I been away this little while? Well, a few reasons. So, one, work. Um, I've been given a lot more hours this month uh, and kind of the last month, so obviously that's slowing things down and it's uh, it's, pre it's pretty annoying, realistically. But, um, two is, I guess, a lack of motivation, sadly. Now, am I burnt out? No. This might kind of sound conflicting, but I really do want to keep making videos and streaming. It's as simple as that. But, you know, also, I guess it's not as simple as that somehow. The last few videos I made, I was sure would do well, but they didn't. And, you know, considering that they are probably some of the best stuff I've ever done, I'm kind of surprised. So, I have a plan. Um, now, for some reason, there's something fucked up about my channel, which I will get to in a minute. But for now, to combat this, what I'm going to ask is that you share the next video that I put out as much as possible. Which will be tomorrow, by the way. And I should really have mentioned that. Share the video, and to do this, I'll have the video pinned on the Facebook page. So obviously, you can go like that as well. But um, go and share that post, and I'll add you into a prize draw. And I'll give away two $20 Steam, Steam gift cards, or 20 whatever the fuck your currency is. Um, I guess, I mean, even, even if you're from Switzerland, I suppose, and they bite the bullet and do that, but, um, so that is two people will win one each. If you share it to somewhere else, message us on Facebook and, um, with a link to where you shared it and I'll add you to the pool as well. Anyway, so you might be thinking, why do I need to do this? So, well, by all accounts, my subs to views ratio is abysmal. I have a theory for this. Chances are most people subbed out of courtesy because of the guides and then never really watched mostly anything else. YouTube now has this awful system, at least this is all speculation but everything seems to go with what I'm saying. They have this awful system where videos are not shared to everybody's sub feed. Um, this has been confirmed that a bunch of people didn't get the last few videos that I put out. And the videos only show up to other people's sub feeds if the original video it's shared to those people watch it enough. So I'm essentially missing out on tons of sub views for the people that do watch my stuff. Um, in addition to this, videos that I make only seem to do well if they get like a certain amount of views in its first day, maybe like 10 to 15% of the total sub base. So if I don't make that certain amount, the video just stagnates and it apparently just isn't shared to anyone's recommended videos. So, now, this is all theory, like I said, but it does seem to be accurate. The, the, there also seems to be something else up with my channel specifically, it's something I can't explain. Now, I have experimented with this. Now, remember the video that I titled, Why I Hate the Dark Souls Community and Why You're Wrong About the Remaster? Why do you think I picked that title specifically? Well, it was to see if extreme clickbait worked for me. The answer is yes, but also not really. So I, it did gain a lot of views for my average amount of views, but imagine any other Souls YouTuber put up a video with that title. It would, it would have gotten like 2 million views with a title like that. So, you know, even Paragon's videos, who was getting far more views than me with less subs, he, he would have gotten fucking millions for a title like that. Um, for some reason, my videos just aren't being shared to recommended videos. Uh, take the boss ranking videos, by all accounts, they're essentially the same as Democracies, yet all his have millions more views. The titles are essentially the same and with nothing else to go on, the only con only conclusion I have is his are being shared to recommended more than mine. And I don't really, I, I don't know why that's happening. Now, we could definitely argue about the quality of the videos, sure, but there is no way of knowing until you watch it, right? And before that, all you have is thumbnails and titles. Now, I'm not slating the videos or anything, but in terms of thumbnails, compared to like anybody else, realistically, his are very simple. And it's not especially eye-catching, so, you know, now, I'm aware that, you know, views via shared videos are worth something like 4 to 1 compared to views via I stumbled across this on my recommendeds. So that's kind of part of the reason why I want you to share it. Um, so perhaps his are just being shared more. You know, so I guess the question then does become, are mine really that much worse? I mean, probably, I guess, the market's decided it, but I mean, potentially maybe not. 
Another element of this is people saying things like, you know, well, Dark Souls is dead. But have you seen the views Sunlight Blade gets? Have you seen the views that any other fucking Souls YouTuber gets? They're all still crazy popular. It's, I mean, in terms of the amount of views they get, especially compared to the amount of subs they have, it's fucking mental, right? So, you know, at this point, if the sharing thing works and you do share it and it kind of catches on, I guess, if people like winning Steam money, then I'll probably do it for like every single video, um, even after it recovers, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't mind sharing the love, but um, I really am more concerned about people actually watching the videos than I'm, the amount of money that I have to put out to get people to watch them. I'm specifically picking the next video to be the one that I want to start this on because it is very shareable. Uh, Anyway, so, so what's the future of the channel looking like? Well, you know, I, I'm not sure yet. Um, I love making videos, but what's the point if nobody's watching them? I really want to do Let's Plays of all these new Dark Souls remastered mods. Some of them look fucking amazing. Uh, and I know a lot of you definitely love the Let's Plays. So, the thing is though, if I'm being totally honest, getting Steven and Gary to actually, you know, do them nowadays has been pretty much close to impossible. And I don't really want to do them with other people. But if I do, I'm not doing them unless they are just as good. So let's just get that straight, do you know what I mean? Um, but again, you know, whoever do them with, the plan is to play all these mods. Now, I know that some of you might be getting bored of that, but, you know, my reply to that is like, you know, what the fuck are you watching the Let's Plays for if you're getting bored of Dark Souls specifically? I mean, you're just doing it wrong. I mean, there's that guy with the Northern Lions, done like a fucking thousand Let's Plays of Binding of Isaac. It just kind of became his thing, do you know what I mean? You don't really watch it specifically for Binding of Isaac. I also want to remake the Dark Souls 1 guide as well. Get it up to scratch with the rest of them. And I want to sort that weirdness out with Solera's quest line. That's, you know, just once and for all, let's get that nailed down. Still, there's no definitive answer, but I'll get it. Um, I want to remake the boss rankings because, you know, I'll fully admit now that Medir is not harder than Koss. Simple as that. And I want to do my Dark Souls 3 top weapons video as well because I've still not done that. But I mean, that'll, that'll get views regardless. And you know, anyway, there's tons more to do. Um, kind of related to that, I was thinking about restructuring the Patreon to allow people to have more control over the videos th that I do. Um, you know, so you can suggest new videos one month and then vote on them for the next one. Um, uh, just to make a point with the whole shirts thing, it's still on the agenda. Like, I get it. Like... There's just a whole lot going on, and I mean, I probably have had the time, maybe the past six months to do it. Um, admittedly, it's not been a priority. Probably should be, but don't worry, like, if you have put in the amount of money that you would, like, the amount of money you'd have to to get it, I can see it, I know who's, I know who's to get one, so don't worry, like, nobody's, like, forgotten. Um, just to clear that up. Uh, I have some ideas for channels that I want to make in case I can't recover from this one. Um, one being a generic gaming slash discussion channel, kind of like Donkey, but also kind of crossed with Nerdwriter. Or, you know, on the other side of my content, um, in terms of the, the banter and the chatting about stuff that people like. Not a reaction channel, but like a commentary channel, kind of like maybe Chris Raygun, but I guess my shtick would be that politically I'm completely down the middle. So I guess that's my little talk over. Um, I guess in terms of my life in general, things are going pretty well. It's not like I can have any more of my family die.